Hello and welcome to the latest Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is uh, Flak for Commodore 64, which was released in 1984, uh, published by US Gold in the UK, I suspect by somebody else throughout the rest of the world. But it was certainly a US Gold release in the UK. Um, I remember this specifically because I had this game back in the day. I think I had it on the Soft Aid uh, compilation. And while it was loading, it used the Nova Load system. It played the fucking American National Anthem all the way through. Needless to say, I hit mute very quickly indeed. So anyway, let's get a game on the way. And... Um, you will soon get uh, the very good idea as to how this game got its name. So you are this uh, ship, which is going around uh, destroying all of these land-based uh, flak batteries. Uh, your sights uh, in front of the ship uh, show you where the uh, oh fuck it, oh, where the shots will be going. It's only a very vague uh, idea. The sights may look quite. Uh, technical and you would think therefore be quite accurate but no uh, you're also uh, very quickly uh, shown there one of the problems with this game it, it takes you to the area where you lost your life so you haven't got to start the level from the beginning again which I like but um, they start firing at you straight away, so if it puts you very close or even on top of a flak battery, which it does do quite a lot, um, you often have very little time to actually do anything before you are destroyed yet again. And although the, um, the thing about sending you to the area... Oh, fuck's sake. The area where you lost your life is certainly handy, and I've got no issue with it. It does therefore mean, well first of all you've got to sit here and wait for it to send you there, which does get a bit fucking tedious. And there you go, it's sent me right on top of a load of flak batteries. I was rather lucky there that they didn't fire. So the game is pretty bloody difficult, although I uh, must admit, back in the day, I did used to play this quite a bit, and I did manage to complete it. Well, I say complete it, all it does is it then wraps around and you start all over again, so, but I did get from one end of the level to the other. There is only the one level, but it does go on for a fucking hell of a long time. I fucking missed that one. So now we have the sea based ones, which you can't see until they fire, um, which means you are in probably a hell of a lot of grief. Well, at least it's going to put me right back there. So the fact that it lets you start where you uh, had left off is fine, but I wish they had found a uh, you know, another way of putting you there rather than this. If you lose a life quite close to the end of the level, you are sitting there for fucking ages waiting to uh, actually start while it sends you out there. Fuck it out. Um, so, <coughs> although the game is uh, simple insofar as uh, uh, you know being able to play it yeah you know, it's simple as in what what do you have to do it is certainly not simple um, as far as uh, progressing through it goes it's pretty bloody tough now obviously as the game came out in 84 it's um, well, probably considered quite basic now. Uh, no power-ups or any of that stuff. It's just get in there and fucking shoot everything. And sometimes I'm I'm okay with that. I you know 
all fannying about with power-ups and whatever is all well and good, uh, that was almost inevitable. But uh, sometimes I don't want to have to think about what I'm doing, I just want to, you know, grab the joystick and shoot every fucking thing I see. And this game lets you do it. So in that regard, it's okay. Uh, the difficulty level makes it bloody challenging. Um, uh, sometimes it does get a bit frustrating, such as there. But um, uh, all things considered, it's certainly not a bad shooter, especially for its day. I would say this, uh, you know, a game that came out in '84. Um, you know, programmers were still getting the grits with the Commodore 64, I suppose. Um, it's certainly, got, you know, obviously it's capable of better, but uh, the time when this came out, this was, uh, you know, quite the challenge. I mean, it certainly beats Space Invaders and the like that was around at the time. So, I, oh, fuck it, I couldn't even, I didn't even see what hit me there. Oh, here we go, so, last life. So, what do I think of it? I mean, graphically, yes, it's horribly dated. I mean, what do you expect for a game that came out in 1984? Um, sound-wise, the sound, uh, you know, let's face it, the sound gets on your fucking tits. Um, that constant firing and there aren't that many areas where you don't want to be uh, where you don't need to fire so uh, yeah it's it's a tough game uh, so you've got that constant firing going through you and by the time you get to the end of this level you again you're reaching for the mute button um, gameplay I say it's it's a very simple game to play but um, it certainly doesn't suffer from that it's you know, it's, a, it's a a reasonable shooter, albeit a very basic one. Uh, and um, as I say, it's also quite the challenge. It is pretty uh, difficult. So um, I mean, it's not remarkable. I'll give it six and a half out of ten. Uh, it's not bad to uh, have a quick blast on, but it's not really one that's going to keep you coming back for more. Um, so there you go, uh, that is Flak uh, for Commodore 64, uh, 6 out of 10, that's this video done and we will see you in the next one.